stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Morning, Mr. Chair. Morning, morning Mr. Morning, everybody. Just a reminder, everybody, get their cell phones. If they put them on silent, please. I need a motion for any additions or deletions to the agenda. We have Make none. a motion to approve, Mr. Chair. I have a motion. I need a second. I second that. I got a second. Any more discussion? If not, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Consent agenda. Gentlemen, at this time, is there anything that you wish to have removed or have a discussion about of the, looks like there's 14 on there, and this will be a roll call vote. Mr. Chair, I'm going to make a motion to approve our uh, consent agenda as published. Okay. Second. Any more discussion? Yeah, Mr. Chair, I'd like to remove 4.8 for further discussion at some point. Okay, so... Uh, we have, I don't know how to get around that one. We have a motion and a second. So I'll amend that motion to allow we'll d further discussion on 4.8 okay. on my motion. Are you okay? Yep. All right, so we will amend 4.8, or not amend, we will remove 4.8 for more discussion. Except that, Mr. Chair, I think I was the one that made the motion. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. for the. So you'll amend it? Yep, you're absolutely. Thank you, and then you're amending your second. Yes. All right, good, Mr. Commissioner Lemire. Uh, so we'll move that one, remove that one for more discussion. Otherwise, we'll vote on the rest of them. Uh, this will be a roll call vote. Commissioner Casper. Aye. Commissioner Blaine. Aye. Commissioner Lemire. Aye. Jelinski. Aye. Myself is aye. Okay. We did remove 4.8, and I'll leave it right now to Commissioner Casper since he would like to discuss it a little bit more. What do you have to uh, say about that one, sir? Well, I talked to the sheriff, and he said that... Uh, he has not signed off on it himself, and the, uh, when he came into the office this morning, the paperwork was on his desk, but there's nothing about a 2 a.m. closure. So that was going to be sought out further to see what... what so my question is. to you is that, so you're just questioning the 2 a.m., not the, 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 uh, the license, license itself. itself. That's correct. All right. Makes sense there. Gentlemen, any more discussion on a 2 a.m.? Um, Mr. Chair, we Mr. could Mayor. add to 4.8 if there's a concern for Bobby that... Uh, upon sheriff's approval and proper paperwork or something like that. And I think Would you be, be okay with that? Yeah, yeah, I need to have further discussions with Sean. And I also sure. maybe, if, if Commissioner Casper could reach out to the township to see if they have any objections or anything on it. I don't know if they have been yet or not. You know, so those are things that there's a lot more, probably a little bit more information we need, such as Commissioner Lemire from the sheriff and all that stuff. So. so Mr. Chair, would that be uh, held in limbo and for two weeks? Is that correct? That's a great question. I'm going to leave this one up to our administrator. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Chair. Uh, the timeline's uh, up to the board. The next opportunity to, to approve it would be in the next board meeting in two weeks. Um, an option would be to table this action, and then it would take two-thirds to bring it back onto the agenda uh, pending the, the further information and discussion and standalone item. But, yeah, the, the next opportunity would be in two weeks. And that's a great point. My question, though, to this, is there renewal up as of, like, right now, or can they, we postpone it for two yeah. weeks? Yeah, Nate, come on up. We need to talk about that one, too, please. Thanks. Good morning, Nate. Good morning, Commissioners, Good morning. Mr. Chair. Um, so I am not sure of the exact license end date. I'm assuming it's end of month. Um, so pushing it two weeks would give us time, I think, and it'd still be um, able to be approved before that expires. If you want to push this to the end of the agenda, I can certainly touch base with Carmen, who is going to have more firsthand knowledge as far as when this expires um, and, and where we're at in the process. I went through most of those license prior, and I thought the signatures were on all of them, but there was there's a significant one amount of them in there, so I'm not going to mm. say that I didn't miss Sheriff Larson's signature on one. Um, that's very possible. Mm. Um, but if you want to push it to the end of the agenda after we do the proclamation, I can certainly go touch base with Carmen and come back. I would not want to do that because if he wants to talk to the township, those mm -hmm. are things, you know, because maybe, the, again, if there's a signature or no signature, I think uh, we have to give uh, Commissioner Same. Casper some credit or some time to discuss it better. Mr. Chair, the only thing with Nathan, just to uh, 
make sure that their license is good through the end of the month is what you're coming back with, correct? Sure. Not that we would sign off on it today, but just to... Yep, we can do that and that. get a time frame for when things expire, and that way you know time frame for action on your end. And I'm going to go down okay. to the mat again. If Let's say it's expiring the 15th. Could we extend that to the board meeting the following <coughs> week, I think? Just to give, I don't know. Uh, or, or, Mr. Chair, we could um, have a special meeting, you know, prior to or, or in conjunction with the planning session next there week you go. Very good. for no, this yeah, action. Yeah, work. Mr. Right. Chair? Yes, Commissioner Jensky. I have to say that I, and perhaps we all, assumed, it's on our consent agenda, that I assumed that everything was in line. And, and that is the purpose that I would make the motion to, to obviously follow through with it, the whole thing. Um, however, if there is something that obviously Commissioner Casper has information that we weren't privy to, or I wasn't privy to, um, conversation with the sheriff and or whomever, whatever the topic is. And of course, as we all know, we can pull anything at any time to, whoop, that's it, that one's off. And quite honestly, if, if there's something that's not right, I don't care when the license expires, this is renewal time, and if it's not, if the proper paperwork's not in, we're not renewing it, or at least I would not want to renew it. Commissioner Blaine. Um, Mr. Chair, as I look at and, and have reviewed the consent agenda, um, this, we're not, this isn't a renewal, it's approving a new license. So I'm, a, I'm making the assumption we have new owners as we have seen this, these in the past, um, uh, or else this was, um, uh, or else I'm misreading the the uh, the consent agenda. But um, I, I looked at this as approving a, a new 2 a.m. liquor license. So I, I made the assumption that we have change in ownership. I'm not sure what happens out there on the east side where the the cave bar and grill is, but. Um, I think you're, Mr. Chair, I think you're taking the right action. We basically um, uh, give uh, Commissioner Casper and staff um, uh, time to review this before we, uh, b before we approve it. I'm not worried about the timelines at all, and, uh, and if, we, if, if there's an issue with timelines, the administrator, I'm sure, will, will help us structure this to, to address it. Mr. Mr. Chair. Chair. Commissioner I'll make a motion to table uh, 4.8 and uh, allow Commissioner Casper to get his questions answered and we'll vote on it the next board meeting. I'll second that, Mr. Chair. Motion to table 4.8 to get more information. I have a second. Any more discussion? Mr. Chair. Commissioner Joinsky. Just for the sake of argument, I believe David, forgive me for pronunciation of his last name, her era, is the owner, maybe they're just changing the name or the, the ownership to Midwest Hospitality LLC. I don't know that. But I think that that David is the, is the owner of the, the cave bar, if I remember right. And again, just, just for, for, just for, yeah, for conversation. clarification, could it be bought it two months ago and then he's come? I don't, I don't know. Who knows about that? But I think, yeah, we've, we've got a motion in a second to table it until then, and then we'll get more facts. Sounds Very good? good. Yes, thank all right, you, gentlemen. Mr. Chair. All right, I have thank a motion and a second. The discussion has been made. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. All right. Vulnerable adult. <clears throat> Come on up, please. Awareness prevention. Either or. Good morning, Commissioners, again. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Nathan Bertram, Health and Human Services Director. We're here for Vulnerable Adult Abuse uh, Awareness and Prevention Proclamation. And I will pass to Sarah. Sarah Gilson. I'm the adult intake worker as well as the backup adult protection worker. And I'm Aaron Stein. I'm the supervisor for the Human Services team, and adult protection is in our unit. And you have a proclamation to read? I do. All right. Please go ahead. All right. Whereas people who are elderly or have disabilities have contributed to the general welfare of Morrison County by helping to preserve customs, convictions, and traditions 
of many people from diverse backgrounds. And whereas these residents are vital and integral members of our society and their wisdom and experience have enriched our lives, and whereas abuse of the elderly and people with disabilities in domestic and institutional settings is a widespread problem affecting hundreds of thousands of people across the country, and whereas suspected abuse was reported 316 times on Morrison County citizens who are elderly or have disabilities in 2023, and whereas abuse is grossly underreported because the vulnerable adult population who are being abused find it very difficult to tell anyone and are usually ashamed and sometimes afraid, and whereas abuse happens to men and women of all income levels, all cultural and ethnic groups, whether they are in good health or incapacitated in some way in neighborhoods and in rural areas. And whereas many of the cases investigated by Adult Protective Services in Morrison County involve self-neglect and financial exploitation, it is our duty as citizens to reach out to people in need. Now, therefore, we, the commissioners of Morrison County, do hereby proclaim the month of June 2024 to be Vulnerable Adult Abuse Awareness and Prevention Month in Morrison County and urge all citizens to work together to help reduce abuse and neglect of adults who are elderly or have disabilities. Gentlemen, I'll ask for a motion. Mr. Chair, I'd make a motion to approve. I need a second. second. Any more discussion? M Mr. Chair, I'll just say that um, uh, my feelings on, on, on those who engage in abuse to, to vulnerable adults, um, I view uh, the same as those who abuse children um, or abuse those um, uh, with disabilities. And uh, my only desire and wish is that those individuals who engage in that kind of activity are prosecuted uh, to the exact full extent of the law. Thank you for that. Commissioner Lemire, you had something? I'll just add to it what Greg said. Um, thank you for what you do. 316 reported, and there's probably more unreported, like as you have on here. They're afraid to tell somebody because of the retribution that they get on the back end. And, we appreciate everything you do. It's a noble uh, job that you do, and we appreciate it very much. And uh, again, to follow up, yeah, <clears throat> you're reading the, your, your proclamation where a lot of people, they're not a lot of people, but adults are being abused and they're scared. They're, who do we go turn to or what's the definition of abuse? And again, this is a, something that, that uh, uh, Adult Protective does here at Morrison County for those so they can reach out to you if they feel you know, that there's a problem or they see something like that. So again, thank you very much for what you guys do. Anything else? Mr. Mr. Casper. I was just gonna say that uh, as the numbers grow here, the baby boomers sliding toward home, your job becomes even more strenuous. And thank you so much for being there because the numbers are gonna grow and we appreciate you having your guard up. Thank you. All right, thank gentlemen, I have a motion and a second. There's no more discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Is this a photo op time? Let's, let's do that, Mr. Chair. <laughs> <laughs> well, why, of course. Yes. Why would we not? They weren't doing it until you said that. Yeah. Great, great. I, I all lined up already. Yeah, the front row. Thank you, Sarah. 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 Right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hold it off a little bit. Is that chair out of the way on the other side? No. Nope. Oh, no. Bye, all. I did the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Second verse. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
romper room. Remember that? That was you probably don't know. I see Sharon. I see your baby. Good morning, Sorry. Sharon. Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning, Sharon. Good morning. Sharon. Please state your name for the record. Sharon Peterson with the Land Services Department. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning. So we have a to consider a rezone of two parcels from residential to agricultural for the purpose of an event venue for Adam and Caitlin Mueller. Gentlemen, I need a motion and a second. Mr. Chair, I'll make a motion. And a second? Second. Any more discussion? And again, just to follow up, uh, we were, this is something that we've seen here last week. They came to us, and, you know, so it was a bit very well vetted. You yep. know, so uh, I believe uh, the, it was a unanimous by the Planning Commission. So again, just to bring that up. So can I uh, go ahead? Can you scroll up, Matt? Uh, and just for clarification, we're, we're on the second item. So um, the one I think that uh, Sharon brought up first starts on page 64 here. I was on the second item was what I was showing, but if you want me to scroll up, I sure can. It's just not the one she's talking about. Okay, I'll, I'll take care of it. So are you good or you want to look at well, there it? Was just a, there was a typo on one of them right here. See, it says the vote was three, and then it has in parentheses five. Here. It should just be a three there. Or does that mean three out of five? Is that in the findings? Yeah. There's approval. This just rezone the parcels of residents. So the vote was three, and then it has five. Yes, zero. Was, there, no, was there only three members at the meeting? No, they were. They were all there. They I were believe. all there. Commissioner Zlinski, I don't want to put a, you on the spot. There was never. There, there was no three to two vote no. on that. that yeah, was, it's, it's, that's that's the only thing I have. That's a good catch. So that should say five. Yeah. And that's, yeah. that's a very good catch on, on the table. Yes. That, that uh, Commissioner Lemire, nothing you gave. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's great. That's, yeah. No you wonder. You no microscope around no, here. No, not here. Them. We've got them right oh, there. Geez. Come on. Any more accolades for Commissioner Lemire? <laughs> no. Yeah. Amazing. His suit looks really nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. gentlemen. Yeah. With, with that correction, we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <clears throat> and you have one more, correct? I do. Um, to consider the interim use permit for Kevin and Lisa Smoody to operate a home extended business, specifically a meat processing facility, including conditions. Gentlemen, I'll ask for a motion and a second. So moved, Mr. Chair. I have a motion. Second. And a second. Okay. Any more discussion? Again, this was brought up. That he's growing, you know. It's that's yes. that's the big thing there. He wasn't expecting to, you know, have such a popular of the processing that he does. I believe it's you know pretty much wild game and whatever he has. So yeah, very well vetted again. So he seemed to have his ducks in a row yes, too, Mr. Chair. Yep. Yep. Gentlemen, any more discussion? If not, those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I will right. go fix those findings and bring them back down. All right, thank Good you. Good job, Sharon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sharon. Boy, moving right along. Administrator. Mr. Chair, I have nothing for the board today. Well, if that's the case, gentlemen, do you have anything before the committee reports? If not, what's the dates? Wow. Let's move. Uh, June 9th or June 22nd? 9th through the 22nd. I'm going to put him on the spot for one of these times. Let's go with Commissioner Jelinski. All right. Starting with June 9th. And I'm going to move right into June 10th. Okay. At 8 o'clock in the morning on Monday, June 10th, and there's an AMC District 5 meeting, and that's in Chisago County. Gentlemen, I will not be attending that meeting. I will not be able to make it. I've got some other things that I have to take care of. Um, and that's just life in the fast lane. And if, and if I may help you out a little bit, the address is in our minutes, so you, if you do, it's time yep. to attend. Yep, should all be there. Um, I normally attend those just as a matter of, that's what I, I, I attend them. They're very valuable, but I can't make this one. Uh, moving right along, June 11th at 8.30 in the morning, we've got a planning meeting here in the boardroom. And that evening at 6 p.m., we have a planning commission board of adjustment meeting. On the 12th, 8.30 in the morning, there is a department head meeting, I believe. And starting at 11 o'clock in the morning, I'll be in the city of St. Cloud at a Central Minnesota Emergency Services Board 
meeting, an executive committee meeting, um, and a full board meeting, which would then start at one o'clock. And for your information, that is the preliminary budget meeting of the year. On the 13th at 10 o'clock in the morning, Central Minnesota Emergency Services Board, Next Gen 911, that will be a, a virtual meeting. On the 14th at 10 o'clock in the morning, Central Minnesota uh, RAC meeting will be held. That will be a virtual meeting on the 14th. Uh, on the 18th of June, moving ahead at 9 o'clock in the morning, there's a county board meeting right here in the boardroom. And at 5 o'clock that evening, right here in the boardroom again, special board of appeals and equalization here in the boardroom. On June 19th, I would normally have a Hands of Hope uh, meeting that night. It would be a virtual meeting, but it's also Juneteenth. That's a holiday, so I will not be having that meeting. On the 20th, um, the fair starts for one, and at 10 o'clock that morning, I have a Central Minnesota Emergency Services Board Owners and Operators virtual meeting. Um, let me see, that is everything that I have, Mr. Chair, on my schedule. Commissioner Casper. Yeah, Mr. Chair, on Monday, that uh, meeting that Jeff mentioned, AMC over at Center City, I'm going to make an attempt to be to that at 8 o'clock in the morning, Monday the 10th. And then the only other thing I have that differs from Jeff is on the 13th, which is Thursday, I have a Camp Ripley Veterans Trail meeting over at Little Falls City Hall that evening. At what time? 6.30. Yeah, and I'm going to have to uh, skip that Great River Regional Library on the 18th because of that uh, Board of Equalization meeting that evening at the courthouse here. All right, good. Thank you. Is that it? Commissioner? That's it. Thank All you, right. sir. Commissioner Blaine. Nothing to add. All right. Commissioner the Mayor. The 10th Yellow Ribbon Committee meeting. Um, On the 20th, Matt, do we have a safety meeting that day? Is that, or is that from before? I think that's a carryover, Mr. Okay. Commissioner. And then uh, I believe I'll be at the fair that day. Don't remember what time. But. And then 22nd, I have a Fish Trap Lake Association meeting at 9.30 at Scandia Valley Town Hall. <clears throat> that's all I got, Mr. Chair. All right. So a couple just... Uh, Questions here again. I'm not for sure. Uh, this can Tabitha or Matt. Uh, after the planning session, I believe I have a meeting with the auditor. I don't know if the vice chair is supposed to be there with that one. Or just me. Just you, Mr. Chair. Okay. All right. So I'll be attending that after the uh, planning session on the 11th. Also on the 11th, it's pointed out that we have a drainage meeting, and that time is what. We'll advertise for 09, Mr. Chair. It'll be immediately following the planning session. Okay. So we'll do planning. It'll move right into a drainage authority, okay. and then we'll move into the audit entrance uh, brief at 11 okay, so or I thereabouts. Okay, so we put that down to make sure we'll attend that. So, And then on the 14th, uh, just to put that out there, the dam fest begins, the 14th and the 15th. And let's see here. I believe then that covers myself also. Anything else, gentlemen? Yeah, Commissioner Casper. I was going to ask the administrator, have you come out with a calendar of the schedule of the commissioners being at the county fair? Y yes, and uh, Commissioner Casper, I will uh, get the updated one uh, from Chris and, and get it out to you, and, and she's working on filling in those spots. But uh, I'm just trying to remember when I signed up. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, I turned in the date and time you gave me, but okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see where she's at. Yeah, thank Chris from so VO much. is doing that. I'm That's right. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, anything else, gentlemen? If not, we have 924 meeting adjourned. Good job, Mr. Chair. Don't take, because Tabitha's got some questions here, so.